It's Stan Phelps. Want to chat with you about an upcoming webinar series in May and June. Every Tuesday, noon Eastern, we're going to tackle a different color in the Goldfish series. Yesterday, I put out a request on LinkedIn and Facebook. Wanted to ask people what theme of the webinar series should we go with? And really quickly came up with three different themes. The first of which was an ode to the 1985 classic, Back to the Future. We switched it up a bit to Black to the Future. In financial statements, when you report a loss, you always put it in red ink. So this is the idea of getting uh, in the black or going black to the, to the future. The second type was an ode to this iconic album by ACDC, the Australian rock band. It was called Back in Black, but for our theme, we went with Back to Black. And then number three is the Netflix hit show, Orange is the New Black. And we switched that up a bit to Experience is the New Black. And the idea being, we'd look at experience management, customer experience, uh, employee experience, and brand experience as we come out of this global pandemic. So what was the winner? Let me give you the results. With 19% of the vote, black to the future. Sorry for all the Marty McFly folks that that were rooting for this i loved it uh but it came up short it came in third with 19 percent of the vote uh coming in second with just 21 percent of the vote was experience is the new black drum roll for our winner <coughs> a wide margin, almost three to one compared to all of the other ones, ACDC's back, back in Black as an inspiration. And so I was super excited about this. This is Little License ECPC, which is Employees and Customers Post-Corona. So how do we, when we're coming out of this, how do we deal with our employees and our customers? Um, what was interesting for me and why I'm excited about this is the theme is that I researched what was happening with the band when this came out. And it turns out that Bon Scott was joined the band just a year after it was formed by Angus and Malcolm Young. He became the lyricist and the lead singer. They had five very successful albums, uh, the last of which was Highway to Hell. And they were just finishing up in the beginning of 1980, 40 years ago, almost to the day. Uh, they were finishing up a world tour. They were about to go back into the studio. And Bon was in London, and he was a notorious partier, and went out and let it rip, and unfortunately drank so much that he passed out and became unconscious. And one of his friends decided to put him in the back of a car so he could kind of sleep it off. And when they came the next morning, unfortunately he had vomited while he was unconscious and he aspirated on his own vomit and tragically passed away at the, the age of 33. Um, the band went back to Australia, they, they buried Bon, and for a while they considered just shutting it down. You know, this was a crisis they couldn't conceive of the, the band going forward. But a lot of their friends and their relatives said, look, you've got to push forward. That's what Bond would have wanted. And so they had to find a new lead singer. And Bond was a fan of a guy by the name of Brian Johnson. He used to be the front man for a band called Georgie in England, where he was from. And Brian ended up trying out with the band and he, they clicked right away. And he, the end of March of 1980, just a little over a month after Bond's passing, he was 
given the opportunity to be the new lead singer for the band. And he accepted. And just one week later on April 1st, I'm sure he thought of maybe it was an April Fool's joke, he was given a plane ticket and he and the rest of the band went to the Bahamas. And that's where they recorded Back in Black. Now, what was interesting is that Bon Scott had been the, the lyricist for the band. They decided that they didn't want to use anything that Bon had written for this album. They just didn't feel right using any of his material. So in the next seven weeks, Brian and the band put together all of the lyrics and pumped out some of the greatest rock anthems out there. Um, an amazing, amazing time. Just seven weeks working in the Bahamas. And they, later that year in 1980, debuted Back in Black. And the reason why it's a black album cover is because it's a tribute to Bon Scott. The record label didn't want them to do that, but they, they really wanted to make it a tribute. Um, this has, has been one of the greatest selling albums of all time. In fact, it's number two to Michael Jackson. And to give you perspective, it's pretty much with 50 million albums sold, has 10 times sold any other ACDC album. And so our, again, our thematic is this idea of employees and customers post-corona. How do we get back to black? Like, how do we jumpstart and get back to, to a new normal? I'm not going to say normal. And so you can't have a two-month tour, as I would call it, without having a tour t-shirt. Um, so back of the, the t-shirt here on the world tour, let me give you an, a, a quick overview of what we're going to do. We'll start out in May, and in May, we're going to launch the newest color in the series. It's the Silver Goldfish, co-authored with Alan Hoffler. It's all about creating memorable business presentations. So how do you get better as a speaker and a corporate presenter? Uh, that's going to be followed up with diamond and then we'll do purple and green which are really foundational in the series uh, in the second month we're going to go deeper into some of the colors we've got blue pink gray red and yellow and so it's going to be every tuesday at noon eastern you can sign up once and then you'll be you'll you'll get the zoom credentials to come to as many as you want again super excited about the first one that's coming out, the Silver Goldfish. And the reason why it's first is because it's strategic. The entire book is about this idea of coming across loud and clear. And in military speak, that's five by five. That's loud and clear. And so we'll do the first one on Tuesday, May 5th. Hope you can join us. It's going to be a fun ride.